Hi, Tile from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting headphone. This is the Odyssey Sign, S I N E headphone. This is uh, unusual in that it's a on ear uh, sealed headphone, uh, primarily intended for portable use. Um, that is uh, $450 or $500 with the lightning cable. So this is an expensive on-ear sealed headphone. And there really aren't very many headphones in this category. Most on-ear sealed headphones, uh, the Beats Solo 2 or the uh, V-Moda XS, um, Sennheiser um, Momentum on-ear. There's a whole variety of these headphones, but Generally speaking, uh, there's quite a bit of compromise going on in order to make them small and convenient for portable use. And as a consequence, generally speaking, they don't really sound all that great. They're usually somewhat uneven sounding. Um, and, uh, and this headphone really is uh, a notch above everything else I've heard for a sealed on-ear headphone. Uh, this is a planar magnetic headphone. Uh, it is uh, all uh, very nice materials in the construction. The, um, the ear pads, I think, are a synthetic leather or protein leather, but they're a nice grade. And this one piece on the end of the headband here is uh, plastic uh, and probably needs be to have all the right shapes and size side and to be able to slide with a proper amount of friction. Um, the headband covering is leather, extender arms and, and swivels and bales are, are uh, aluminum, anodized aluminum. So this is a very nicely constructed headphone. It also is a, has very nice styling. It's a good looking headphone. Um, it's reasonably comfortable to wear. Most on-ear headphones are, are not all that great in terms of comfort. Um, the caliper pressure out of the box is a little high. It means it squeezes in a little bit hard on my head, which is a little bit larger than average, but not much. In order to stretch it out a little bit if you need to, you grab both sides of the headband like this. Don't grab the ear cups and ex extend it. Grab it by the headband, bend it back, and stretch it out a few times, and you can get it to um, fit uh, your head properly. The, the stability on the head is extraordinary. I can, I can, for example, lie down on a pillow. Whoa. I got goo on my hair now, but <laughs> lie down on the pillow. Well, it usually works. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, it's it's quite stable on your head. It doesn't have any sense of instability. A lot of times, the on-ear headphones are really kind of perched on your ears and a little wobbly, whereas these aren't. Um, and you can really move your head around quite a bit um, before they fall off. So my first little example there wasn't uh, quite my experience. I can get up out of bed and have them stay on my head. Um, the uh, cables that come with it are uh, 48 inches long, uh, which is nice. Um, they're a, a flat uh, cable. It's a nice uh, kind of soft material, has a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack on one end. There's some flexibility in the jack, so it, it helps with the strain relief. Where it attaches to the ears is really unusual. This connector is, uh, is a mono 3.5 millimeter plug that goes in. And as you can see, if you were to tug on this, it's never going to pull that connector out because of the angle on it. And also because of the angle on it, the cables go forward and don't push against your shoulders or anything. And sometimes that happens with headphones that are connectorized um, at the head. Anyway, I really like this design. It provides a good amount of strain relief <clears throat> for the headphones. The outsides of the uh, ear capsules are uh, leather. So it's, it's a, this is a very nicely constructed headphone. Sound quality is quite good. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's quite good, especially for a headphone of this type. The bass is nice and tight, very clean, not quite emphasized enough. Uh, it doesn't have a rise in the bass for the, to match the Harman target response curve. Um, but, uh, it, uh, um, it is clean and tight. The mid-range is very even, very, uh, um, nicely smooth. The, um, 
treble response is a little worrying. Uh, like the LCD4, it's missing a little bit of treble between 4 and 8K, and then the treble is somewhat accentuated above 10K, which um, has a slightly breathy sound. <clears throat> and uh, while it bothered me quite a bit in the LCD4, in the um, sign, I actually found it advantageous in some cases uh, when you're in loud environments and uh, you have to turn it up a little bit. Um, any uh, excess energy in that 4 to 8K region can get quite strident and um, harsh to listen to. Uh, and this headphone doesn't get harsh uh, because of that dip between 4 and 8K. However, um, in order to, to continue to have good speech intelligibility, that that accentuated region above 10K um, helps to add a little bit more brightness around consonants without making them harsh and makes them more intelligible um, when you're in loud environments. So I actually thought that that was okay. Um, uh, I, I still would have preferred less energy uh, in that above 10K region, but um, uh, 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 it served in, in a way it served a purpose that you don't have this harsh sound and and there's nice intelligibility for movies and and uh, talk radio and things like that that you might be listening to with a portable headphone um, so this is a, a solid performer it's a 449 dollar headphone I think it's a solid performer at that price it certainly has a refined clear uh, sound um, and I, I liked it quite a bit. But things get better when we talk about the Cypher cable all as an available um, option uh, for uh, $4.99 you can get the Sign headphone with the lightning cable. The lightning cable has of course a lightning connector on one end and then it has this uh, dongle in the middle which is um, has a digital analog converter, DSP, uh, and a power amplifier for the headphones, and of course a microphone for making phone calls, buttons for fast forward and rewind and pause in the middle, uh, and it uh, just connects to the headphones with the connectors that uh, just like on the other standard cable. The cool thing about this cable is that it comes, you can get an app with it, uh, and that app allows you to EQ the headphones. And what I did was I took a little bit of that energy in the uh, top octave out and added a little bit of energy in the 500 and 1000 uh, hertz range in order to bring a little bit more presence to the vocals <clears throat> and that EQ once it's set gets stored in the uh, cypher cable electronics in the in the in the module here and will keep that EQ setting no matter what iOS device you plug it into so what's really cool about this headphone is you can tweak uh, uh, for your listening pleasure, just the right amount of EQ for you, and then that stays in the cable uh, for uh, until you change it. Um, the cable also adds a little bit of a bass boost, uh, 3dB below 150 hertz or so, to match the Harman target response curve. And so the cable just by itself, um, without EQing it, also sounds uh, makes the headphones a little warmer and more pleasant to listen to. Um, when I compared these against other on-ear headphones like the Vmoda XS or the uh, Beat Solo 2, um, any of the normal uh, headphones that one might think of as on -ear, good on-ear headphones, this one was really in a league all its own um, in terms of clarity and refinement above those other headphones. Quite a bit uh, better than those other headphones. I really had to go to a headphone like the Oppo PM3. Um, this is also a planar magnetic headphone. And uh, it's an it's an over ear headphone though it's a full size headphone although it's a little compact. <clears throat> it's also a good headphone for portable use. So these would be comparable headphones. This is a four hundred dollar headphone. This with the regular cable is at four forty nine. So there's only fifty dollars difference. <clears throat> 
And what I found was uh, I ended up preferring the sign, I think, just a little bit, but it's really kind of a personal taste thing. I found the oppo a little rolled off on the top, which gave it a little bit of a duller sound, um, but it was more balanced uh, in the bass and mid-range out of the box. Um, so they're both quite good. I would I would not have an easy time picking one, but I, I, I for portable use, I might go with this one. The isolation is very good on this headphone, so maybe it's better for really loud environments like the subway or an airplane but in in portable use it's a good idea to have a little bit of awareness of what's going on around you and this headphone will give you less isolation although it's still pretty good and and um, in some cases that may be better for a portable headphone to keep your situational awareness at any rate um, so the Odyssey signed it uh, I guess I should mention it also comes with a fabric carry case right here this is probably the one disappointment with this product I would have liked to see at this price a nice hard sided case um, but the $39 uh, case for the Odyssey EL8 does work for the Cyan headphone so if you want to buy a case you can buy it from Odyssey as well so uh, I think this headphone is going to be going up on the wall of fame for full for uh, ear pad sealed headphones I've not heard anything like it before. It's uh, certainly um, quite a surprise to hear sound this good from an on-ear uh, sealed headphone and um, hope you get a chance to listen to one soon. It's a pretty exciting uh, piece of gear. All right then, we'll see you guys next time.